Hi, this is Alex Masichev of Antvilion, the developers of Dita2 Dita CMS. In the today's video, I'm going to show you that having content in a structured format like Dita enables virtually endless possibilities for automated content assembly and content generation. In the next few minutes, you'll see how a troubleshooting flowchart can be automatically generated from a textual troubleshooting topic. You'll see how the textual description of a troubleshooting process can be dynamically transformed to a flowchart that represents the same information visually. A typical troubleshooting process consists of a series of checks that you need to perform and, depending on the outcome of each check, you need to follow a certain procedure. Let's say we have a set of troubleshooting topics that explain the user of the washing machine what to do if the water isn't drained after the washing cycle is completed. There are various models of the washing machine that provide different features. So a troubleshooting for one model may be 80% the same as for another model, but because some components or features available in one model might be unavailable in another one, certain steps or checks in the troubleshooting will also look differently. Ideally, troubleshooting documentation that addresses a specific problem occurred in a specific product in a specific context should be assembled automatically and presented to you in a way you want, either as text or flowchart or maybe a combination of both. Let's now see how it works. In case this is the first time you see Dita2, Dita2 is a Dita full-blown content management system that provides everything you need to author, manage, review, translate, and publish content. In my Dita2 content repository, I have a bunch of topics that provide information about all available models of the washing machine. It's not just troubleshooting, by the way. It's also installation, usage, maintenance, and so on. This is a troubleshooting topic. I'll open it in a data editor for better visibility. In this particular configuration, Oxygen is specified as my default editor, although Dita2 is data editor agnostic, so you can use any data editor you want. As you can see, the topic includes possible solutions depending on the cause of the problem. We also have individual tasks that explain how to perform each check. For example, this one describes how to check if the filter is clean. And this one describes how to check if the draining hose is lined up. Now, this information will be easier to understand if it's presented in a visual format. So, we want to generate a flowchart that represents this troubleshooting process visually. Keep in mind that the content repository includes all kinds of information about all product models, so only relevant topics should be automatically picked up when assembling them into a troubleshooting process for a specific model. I'm going to show you now how you can run this magic transformation from within our Dita2 Dita CMS. I've configured Dita2 just to put the image to the local drive, but it can be also configured to put the image directly to the repository. I'll open the file manager so you'll see that there are no tricks. The automatically generated flowchart should appear in this folder, which is currently empty. So, I'm changing the workflow state of the troubleshooting topic to ready for transfer magic. And now I can select the transformation that I want to apply in this particular case. D2 
Dita 2 is now doing its magic. And the flowchart is in the PNG format ready. It can be also another format like SVG or GIF. The flowchart can be easily done clickable so that clicking on one of the blocks would open a corresponding topic. The look and fail can be also adjusted. It's very flexible. And this is just one example of what can be done if you have content in a structured format like Dita. And here comes another piece of good news. The mechanism behind this transfer magic is our content automation platform integrated into Dita 2. This platform is a development framework. It comes with several applications like the one you've seen already built in. You can use them as is or customize them for your own needs. But you can also create your own applications that assemble, generate and manipulate content as you need. The platform provides a plenty of tools and functions that let you implement virtually any logic and do it easily. Applications are written in XSL, so there is nothing proprietary, open standards only. There will be more videos and articles about content automation in our social media channels, so stay tuned. Thank you.